Thank you for joining us as we announce the fourth annual Celebrate America on Lancaster Boulevard, a star spangled boulevard this year in 2013. I'd like to introduce everyone up here today that will be um, talking about this great event. We have with us City Manager Mark Bozigian. Chief Operating Officer of the Chamber of Commerce, uh, Sandy Smith. <laughs> Deputy City Manager, Jason Cottle. <laughs> and our event manager um, from the Parks, Recreation, and Arts Department, Brian Whalen. <laughs> First up is Mark Bozigian. It really is an honor to represent our mayor and city council because one of the most important things to Mayor Paris and the council when they all started, uh, starting in 08 and then a couple of them getting on a couple years later, was to engage the community. Um, what government wasn't just about government and we'll take care of everything. It was about really engaging the community. And in a lot of ways, that's what Celebrate America and what America is all about. Um, what is Celebrate America about in this event? Well, first and foremost, it's about honoring our troops. Our freedom is because of those who have gone before us. And we say that so many times, it comes off as just words sometimes, but it's not just words. Those of you and most of you that I know, when you study history, you realize how close this country has come several times to not enjoying the freedom we have now. Were it not for patriots and were it not for people who are willing to risk their lives as leaders, as folks in the military, we would not be where we are. What else is America? It's about celebrating, okay? It's about what America means to you, and it means different things to different people. We have a lot of uh, opportunities on the boulevard to honor our troops, but uh, uh, celebrating America also means going and looking at the car show and seeing the muscle cars and you know experiencing nostalgia about when you were a kid and the cars that were there. It could mean the pie eating contest, you know, watching the pie eating contest and watch something that's uniquely American. Lancaster uh, Performing Arts Center, um, we're going to have our hometown heroes tribute. Up and down the boulevard, we have the banners of, of this year's hometown heroes, all of our military uh, servicemen and women that have served or continue to serve. Um, also at, at American Heroes Park, we have last year's honorees. So we'll be, we'll be showing that tribute to them on a PowerPoint slideshow on, off the side of the building at uh, LPAC. Um, Throughout the event, you're going to find several recreations, some of which you kind of see around here. Neil Armstrong is roving around here somewhere. <laughs> um, but also, we're going to be recreating the uh, Korean War Memorial that is currently in Washington, D.C. Arts is a little bit of a twist on that. What it'll be is it's going to be a moving statue tribute, so they'll come literally come out of the bush at the library. So they'll be live, slowly moving up to assume that pose that you see in Washington, D.C. We did it last year, it was quite moving, it's very nice, and we're, we're happy to recreate it again. We'll also be doing the uh, recreation of the raising of the flag at Iwo Jima. Again, a return from last year, but as Mark said, when we're giving a tribute to our military, these are, these are huge moments, and we're happy to bring them to you. Here at the um, Museum of Art and History, we're going to be having a future, and it's more or less a future in space. You know, we all know about our past in space from from Mercury and Gemini through the space shuttle. But where is it going to go from here? Where is it going to go from here is going to be a private uh, exploration into space. And so that, that, the current show will speak to that. So that's something that you don't want to miss. Also, we're going to have the, uh, the women in service and war, which will be in the classroom downstairs, which, which should be a quite a, a moving tribute to the very, very uh, many w women in, that have served, whether it be in flight, or in, in combat or in service to others while they were in combat. Um, it's a great family event. There'll be all kinds of nostalgia, okay? Let me, let me kind of run down the enter entertainment that's gonna exist on the boulevard. Starting from west to east, we are uh, in the intersection at Fern and Lancaster Boulevard. We're going to have a, a beer garden. Uh, in that beer garden, we're gonna have an old time rock and roll band, okay? Um, it's just one of our local cover bands, but they're very, very good, so don't miss that. Um, here at the Beck stage, we're going to be having uh, our review tribute. So we're going to have Elvis and Frank Sinatra, two huge icons. And what would an American event be without Elvis? If, if it wasn't for Elvis, we'd still be doing the polka. <laughs> so. um, 
at, out in front of the Alpec, we're going to have a Copacabana uh, kind of 50s style nightclub act with the Tony Capco Orchestra. Very good group, don't miss that. And finally, uh, down at the Western Hotel, we're going to have the AV Showcase cor uh, Chorus, an a cappella group, local, that's been around the valley, not the same members, obviously, but 50 years, and they're very, very good. So. Uh, uh, don't miss any of that entertainment, and that'll be happening. Uh, this, we'll have the schedules out on the boulevard for each of those, those options. In addition to those things, we are going to be having a classic car show. Now, we've had this time and time again, but we have wonderful cars with great participants, and it'll, it'll, it will begin here at, at Ehrlich, and we'll run down past Fern. Um, in addition to that, we will be having um, a motorcycle show this year, so basically Harleys. But uh, yuppie Harleys, kind of like people my age, so no, nothing to fear. Um, <laughs> and to keep those people entertained down at that end, we're going to have a mechanical bull riding uh, opportunity. Now, that's going to be a fundraiser for the Wounded Warrior Project. So um, if you're down at that end, enjoy the cars, enjoy the bikes, take a ride on the bull, and make a donation to the Wounded Warrior Project. The monies that are raised here in its streets of Lancaster on that mechanical bull will be uh, presented to the Wounded Warrior Project at our uh, annual beer first annual beer fest at the Lancaster uh, Municipal Stadium, uh, November 9th. Excellent. And uh, what else? Um, we'll have uh, an Orbitron for the kids. We're going to have a rock wall climbing uh, apparatus, face painting, a balloon artist. Uh, kids train, crafts, police and fire displays. There's literally something for everybody. So um, please come down, please enjoy the event, take advantage of this and, and show Lancaster's pride and Antelope Valley's pride for celebrating America. I'd also like to welcome our VISTA volunteers new to the city of Lancaster. They're here today if you'd like to get a chance to chat with them a little bit. Um, and we're really excited for the program that they're going to help us develop over the next year. So uh, come on out uh, next Saturday, the 14th, from 5 to 9 p.m. Bring your children, bring your parents. Um, it's, there's something for everyone. You can cruise the boulevard on foot like you maybe did um, many, many years ago. And educate your children. You know, this is what we learn about in school, the Korean War and, and uh, Mr. Armstrong here behind me. And uh, I'm sure that they can do a book report or something on it. So it should be a lot of fun. There's something absolutely for everyone. And uh, we look forward to seeing you there, 5 to 9 next Saturday. Thank you.